It's amazing. It's the most amazing thing. Just, just a dream. The ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. There are different ways to get here. Sometimes when we travel, we just want comfort, convenience, to be transported with ease. But other times, we seek more. To move, explore, climb that hill to see what's on the other side. Good job, everybody. We try both. Yesterday was the ultimate physical and mental challenge. Today, we'll explore the beautiful Aguas Calientes before taking the famed bus to Machu Picchu. Get ready for the ultimate walkthrough so you can experience it for yourself. This is P and I'm Jay, and this is your best day. In this series, we'll be taking you day by day through Peru, from the streets of Lima and depths of Sacred Valley to the Inca Trail and peaks of Machu Picchu, all guided by Gate One. Imagine a place surrounded by towering green mountains. Where the soothing sound of the Urubamba River flows through the town. The air is crisp and fresh. The locals, friendly and happy. Children preparing for school, families preparing for the day, travelers preparing for or returning from their visit to Machu Picchu. Wow, look at the soccer stadium. That's epic. Aguas Calientes has a lively, welcoming vibe. Narrow streets lined with colorful art and vibrant markets. The streets filled with the sound of footsteps and gentle conversation in multiple languages. And despite the hum of anticipation, the mountains and river offer a calming, grounding energy. Camera, hat, and bus ticket in hand we prepare for our visit to Machu Picchu. Alpaca, silver. Everything will be taken from Cusco by the train. That's why it's expensive here. Uh -huh. Because the name Machu Picchu. Buy a water. <laughs> Buy a water. It's five solid, six solid. Yeah, it's like it's been, it's away, everything is expensive. <laughs> everything is expensive here, okay? Okay. Yeah. So look. Don't buy. You want yeah, yeah. something here? You want something here? Too late now. Think, yeah, I, I think t-shirts. Center of Cusco. The name of this symbol, Chacana. Chacana is a Quechua name. Chaca means bridge, road. Mm. Okay, and Hana means the heaven. You see the beautiful name? Way to the heaven. Wow. The Spanish are right here and they saw they did one thing. Oh, it's similar to the Catholic cross we have mm -hmm. in Spain. And they name it Inca Cross. Inca Cross. It's not a cross. It's not, okay? It's Chacana, a way to the heaven. Who believe Ecuador? The biggest civilization before the Incas, Yaguanaco. Where's that? In Bolivia. Actually, the Yaguanaco culture will be the fathers of the Incas. They come from Bolivia. Hola. Gracias. We settle in for the 30-minute ride. Wow, good spot. Located just 9 kilometers from Aguas Calientes, or 72 kilometers northwest of Cusco, Machu Picchu is surrounded by Peruvian jungle and the Andes mountain range. Hola, buenos dias. <laughs> Gracias. Nice. Green, majestic, mysterious, culturally and spiritually rich. 
Entonces son como conejos con cola. The only one. This mountain is no, not rich. It's surrounded by all the river. It's really cheap. But it's the only one. And it's the beginning of dry season. Hot, sunny, and perfectly clear. What? No. There are three main areas. The sacred plaza, the residential zone, and the southern area. All of it a city frozen in time. Planned to perfection. Each stone meticulously placed. Ahead, the city gate. We tap the entrance as a sign of deep respect. A request for permission to enter this sacred place. And the reminder to ourselves to enter with humility and awareness. The texture of the doorway smooth and cool. The ground uneven and winding. The security system of the stores goes like this. <sighs> that is sticking out more. Welcome to the Central Plaza, where friendly llamas eat grass and sometimes nibble on nearby tourists. <laughs> The atmosphere is filled with excitement and awe, the click of a camera, and occasional soft brush of foliage or fellow visitor. It's easy to feel lost in the maze of narrow paths and stairways as they lead through a series of terraces and temples. Significant amongst them, the Temple of the Sun, and below that, the Temple of the Condor, which for the ancient Incas represented fertility and production. Ritual fountains, 16 in total, showcasing the Inca's engineering expertise. Known as the Lost City, Machu Picchu remained hidden from the outside world for centuries after the fall of the Inca Empire. It's hard to imagine how such a place so beautiful could be forgotten. Huh. What else is out there that we don't know about? What else have we abandoned or forgotten? Lost in transition or perhaps lost in translation. Ahead, three trapezoidal windows comprise the Temple of the Three Windows. Windows and this very special shape historically were reserved for Inca nobility. Should I go through? Wow, look at those stairs. Row upon row of agricultural terraces where history and nature converge. If I had a cold beer, I could stay longer. <laughs> no, I, I managed to do it. We descend by bus back to Aguas Calientas. Oh, new ticket. Wow. Ready to navigate hairpin turns along the cliff's edge. Huh? You see it? Full house. I think what lunch is on your own though. Yeah. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got this. Wow. Got this. Wow. Wow. Mucho got this. Authentic Peruvian and 
Guskenyan Cuisine, located right by the river, offering stunning views in a relaxing setting. You can try guinea pig or grilled alpaca, or just enjoy vegetarian dishes as well. Thank you so much. We enjoy local craft beer. And while it might look like a liquid lunch, we also enjoy trout ceviche, rice with mixed seafood, and an array of delicious condiments. Okay, so what do we have here? We have ceviche. Fueled by local brews, we walk through the local shops. Let's spend it. A sensory rich experience. Let's spend it all. It's here you'll find a treasure trove of handcrafted goods. They don't mind Look at these. Nice Look. Stuff. Do you like it? It's a big one. It's maybe too big for you. Yeah? Oh, wow. That's nice. It's good. I'm tired actually after that hill. Intricately woven textiles, traditional clothing, carved wooden items vibrant paintings, jewelry, and pottery. A kaleidoscope of colors mixed with the smell of leather goods and freshly ground coffee. There's some AC there. Mm. Okay, wow, the lighting. It's so stunning, although it looks really hot. So we were on that bridge the white one right there ah. first thing in the morning yeah and we were on that one after coming out by the school mm. and we were on this one last night last night and here again lots of lots lots of lots being designated a unesco world heritage site means that machu picchu is recognized for its outstanding universal value to humanity this status not only helps preserve its historical and cultural significance oh, little friend but also emphasizes the responsibility we have to protect and cherish such a treasure wow the designation ensures that future generations will continue to marvel at its beauty and ponder its mysteries. Oh my God. Speaking of preservation, we'll drink. we oh save God. ourselves from the heat with a quick coffee break. It's hot. Okay, what if we get you like ice drink? Something icy. Do you want that? Huh? Yeah, we can. Okay. Aliante. Why? I will go into it. I will go into it. Hot water. Hot water. Burning. Just burning up. What did you think of the town? It's cool. I like it. What'd you? It's hot. Yeah. We're gonna walk uphill. Yeah. Would you come back again? I'll think about it. Come on, you love it. I do. I like it. Okay. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Wow. That looks good. Cheers, me. Salut. Bye, Boja. Song. Song. Rain begins to fall as we begin our journey to Cusco. Yeah. 
¿ya? Same time. Same time. Gracias. Words cannot express how lucky we are to visit Aguas Calientes and to have walked through Machu Picchu. Lucky to have good mobility, fortunate enough economically, beyond the cost of visiting and the complex transportation logistics of getting here, tourism policies and practices tend to prioritize international tourism, preventing many Peruvians from visiting Machu Picchu, despite it being a vital part of their cultural heritage. I see E. Welcome back to the train station. Both charming and functional, it's here you'll find travelers excitedly chatting in various languages, the rhythmic sound of trains arriving and departing, and announcements echoing through the air. Wow. Despite the modern trains and infrastructure, the station retains a rustic, welcoming feel, making it a memorable starting point for the journey to and from one of the world's most famous archaeological sites. Similar to where we just were, like we came full circle. Yeah. <laughs> Set for life. <laughs> the cobblestone streets leading to the stations are lined with traditional adobe houses. And if you listen closely, you might just hear the gentle sound of the Urubamba River flowing nearby, adding to the station's unique character. So we learn more about our stops tomorrow. A visit to Saxe Woman Inca Fortress, the historic center of Cusco, and special ceremonial visit with a local holy man. Our master, local shaman. There is going to be decisions. What we're going to do, we are going to show you the way how our ancestors then got ship the mother earth. They took care of beautiful parts of the We arrive safely into Cusco, the ancient capital of the Inca Empire, already enchanted by its cobblestone streets. Nestled high in the Andes, more than 11,000 feet above sea level, Gracias. our hearts are pounding and our breath short as we check into our hotel. Modern, oh. comfortable, Merci. and just a Merci. short distance from Cusco's historic center. Wow. An on-site restaurant, bar, and fitness center, this hotel offers a peaceful retreat after a day of exploring Machu Picchu. Hilton. Garden? Time for a quick room tour. Would you like to show me? What do we have? Safe. Oh, nice. It's good. This one's on us. We got some water. Nice. 
Wow! Look at that tapestry. Yeah, with a poncho. Okay. Wow! There's a courtyard. You can see the city. It's a lamp. Very red chair. Okay, one other area. Would you like to showcase? How do I get inside? Okay. Okay. Wow. Traumatic reveal. Okay, how do I... It's very... Okay. Oh, my hair. What is that? Looks like there is an interesting surprise. For years, we've watched countless documentaries, YouTube videos, and TV specials about Machu Picchu. And yet, some places are just beyond words. They defy description, leaving one fumbling for words other than, wow. No matter what effort it takes, whether you walk, bus, or take the train, I hope you visit and find yourself unable to articulate the magic of Machu Picchu. Which will be okay, because sometimes the greatest experiences are meant to be felt, not explained. It's amazing. The most amazing thing. Just, just a dream.